Mark Hayden is the program director of the Schwartz Center, which offers both residential and outpatient treatment for people with drug and alcohol problems. While the world may not know for weeks whether Michael Jackson's death is drug-related, the star has admitted past addictions to painkillers and early reports of his final moments suggest his death may well have been no ordinary heart attack. If so there's a lesson there for addicts everywhere. Certainly uh, many people think that someone with his status and his income and his resources um, wouldn't have that problem, and it shows that it can affect anyone. More than 40 years ago, the Rolling Stones sang of Mother's Little Helper. Today, Mark Hayden sees problems with pain pills and other prescription drugs every day. We always have people that have alcohol problems and cocaine, but over the last year it's been uh, mainly pain pills. We're seeing it more and more here in treatment. Beyond the question of how people get them is the question of why people take pain medications and why some people never kick the habit. The answer, Hayden says, does have something to do with pain. Many of them give them energy. It takes away not only physical pain, but it takes away psychological pain and um, any hurts that they may have, both emotionally and physically. On the other side of the country, the world lost a troubled superstar. And if his death proves to be drug-related, people everywhere have a chance to learn a valuable lesson. Addiction can affect anyone, any walk of life, any um, level of income.